to do a book review over, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I just want to start this review off by saying I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting videos. Like I said in my last video, I'm really busy moving out and all that stuff and everything's finally kind of getting unpacked. And then the other day, I was actually going to film some videos after Stacy and I filmed the Valentine's Day tag, but literally like two hours after that, I got the rhino flu, which I didn't even know existed. It sounds really weird. And that's what I felt like for the last couple days. And it was awful and I had to go to the doctor and it was just really sad and awful and just filled with more awfulness. So yeah, I didn't end up filming a video because I was too busy getting sick to film a video. So since I didn't film any videos, I didn't post any videos and yes, that is that. Videos is what that equals. And so now I'm filming this video so I can have it up on Wednesday ready. And that was way too long of an excuse and I apologize if you're just sitting here like, uh, I just want to see a review, I don't care. I didn't even know you posted videos on Wednesdays, but yes. Okay, anyways, review. Hunger Games was released October 1st of 2008 by Scholastic. It is the first book in the Hunger Games series, and there are 374 pages in the U.S. hardcover edition. I gave this book an A+, plus or 5 stars, and this is actually the sec fourth? The fourth time I'm reading this book. No, the third. I read it, when it like a really long time ago, before the second one even came out. And then I read it again before the second one came out so I could remember more about it. And then now I reread it again. In future North America, the nation is divided into 12 districts and a capital. The capital demands to have control over each district. And each year, to prove they are in charge, they send one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18 from each district to a fight to the death on live TV called The Hunger Games. Katniss Everdeen has always struggled to survive in District 12. But when her younger sister is called forth to join The Hunger Games and Katniss takes her place, she knows she doesn't stand a chance. Katniss will have to face her humanity, love, and she'll have to discover just how far she'll go to survive. So what is there to say about this book that hasn't been said 1,000 times already? If you haven't heard of this book, you haven't been paying attention to the YA book genre because it is all over it. There's a movie coming out about it, but I've heard of a bunch of adults who like this book as well. It's an amazing, amazing read. It's really nothing like the generic YA book and I think that this book is what started the YA dystopian trend because it's just such a good book and people saw that and really started to pick up on it and started to have it influence their writing a little bit I think. Now since most of you have probably already enjoyed the series my advice to you is to go read it again because it is so amazing and the movie is coming out in March, and as much as I love movie adaptations and I love seeing everything come to life, I love my version more. So it was really great to revisit this one last time before my version is ruined and taken over by the movie version. It was really nice to see my Katniss, my Peeta, and my Gail one last time because already the characters that are playing them in the movie just by watching the previews are starting to take over a little bit and it was nice to revisit this. One thing that I love about this book and something I think that makes it so popular is that there's something in it for everyone. I think that it's a book that boys and girls can enjoy. I think that it has love, it has action, it has a menacing and twisting plot, it has a great backstory which a lot of really good books lack and that's one of the things that I really love about it is that there's nothing left unanswered. The characters develop amazingly throughout the book and throughout the series. Now I just want to say something about the romance in this book. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who may not have read it, but I just want to say that for the romance that there is in this book, it's so realistic. I think that things like this could, like the feelings that she's feeling it could actually happen and it's not just like, oh, I like him, he's cute, blah, 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 which is fine in real life, but nobody wants to read that. And the romantic side of this book, of this series, that there is, is very realistic to me. And that's something that really gives it a good quality because it's nice to have, like, the whole Edward and Jacob love triangle team fighting thing, but... 
this really gets down to the core. Katniss is a really good role model, I think, in some ways. She steps up and takes care of her family when no one else does. She's very strong and she thinks through all of her options and thinks through everything before she acts and that's something that so many people need to learn because most people just react so impulsively that it ruins everything. And yeah, I, there's not really much I can say about this book that hasn't been said, like I already said in the beginning. So just read this book, at least give it a chance. Even if you are a boy and you aren't usually into YA, give this book a chance if you haven't already because it is something that is worth getting. I am Jessica with Chapter Chicks. That is my review over at The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. <laughs>